killing polar bears in two ways. In the green, the trees are like your green shirt. Why? How would you like to go to a beach and you can't even swim in the ocean because it's filled with oil? And make us extremely sick. Doesn't make any sense to me. But this time, his spell didn't work. He but for Japan, it was tragic. The bomb hit Hiroshima. We remember the physical podium points by calling them P-Peg. Let's find out what they are. Presence, posture, eye contact, and gestures. Presence. Presence is the speaker's energy and connection with the audience. Does his or her presence reflect confidence? Is the speaker welcoming the audience with what, what he or she has to say? Another word for presence is charisma. Hello and welcome. I'm Washington. Do you want your favorite teacher to get fired? No. You had outstanding presence. I felt like you had some credibility. Number one, because you're a student. Two, because you, you sounded passionate in how you spoke. Posture. Posture is how the speaker holds his or her body. It is most effective for the speaker to stand up tall with knees relaxed and shoulders down. Another word for posture is stance. Today, I'm going to be talking about oil spills, our dependence on oil, and solutions to oil spills. At first glance, I do not seem anything like the yellow, spiky-haired spiky vegetarian that we know as Lisa Simpson. But we are both surprisingly alike. Eye contact. Eye contact is when a person looks directly to the audience. Good eye contact is made often with as many members of the audience as possible. Use several focal points with speaking to a large audience. These beautiful white creatures could be extinct in 40 years if we don't help. The next generation will never see a polar bear. And your beautiful shiny necklace is like the clear park we're standing in, which you made clear for community service. Gestures. Gestures are when a person uses motions or body movements in a speech. Good gestures are rehearsed intentional and help emphasize a point. Lots of kids don't really prefer school lunch. They want pizza, ice cream, chips. I hear that you are making a lot of lists. I hear, you know, pizza, candy, you know, you're listing things. Those are great opportunities for gestures. You can do a nice sort of, you know, just counting off. Some people do this. But something where you can kind of count off, that's always a fun gesture. It kind of breaks up the ideas and helps us keep track. You can help stop global warming by recycling, turning off the lights or electronics when you're not using them, or even getting a hybrid or an electric car. You are at risk. Yes, you, 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 and you. That's a far from work. That's it.